Okay, I think we are about ready to go. Alright, so before we actually start, we have five achievements to try to get. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Two no hit runs. All maps and compasses. All chess and Ganon's Tower. Ganon's Tower without the sword in one run. We gotta do those three. Now, I made a backup save. This one has beaten the two bosses just on, on their own, nothing special. So that way we could go straight to Ganon's Tower. And these two are the no-hit runs. There's no sword upgrades, although I might be able to just get the sword upgrades for that one. Maybe. We want... Uh, we're going to heal over here. So we're going to try blind again. I have four red potions. Red potions fully heal you. Right now, my goal for blind, I am going to try to get rid of the first phase while he's still up in the upper part. Then, I uh, try to use long range attacks for the second and third, or for the second head. The idea is he should, I can focus on dodging so when the third head drops down, or when he drops down for, uh, onto the bottom side, I can focus on that for the third head and be done. And the idea for the potions is, yes, I can't get hit, but the idea is... If, uh... Let's say on a normal run where I don't have max health, right? I get through the first phase. If I did not get hit, I use a potion to get to full health so I can get my, uh, health back. I have money to buy more potions, but... We may end up just not saving, so that way... Actually, that is something I'm going to do. Each time I die, I'm not going to save. That way I can just reset the full save. And... Uh, get my money back and start over. We got five to get. <clears throat> We're going to try this for a little bit, but we may end up focusing on getting this tower. Honestly, it kind of feels like long range might just be my best shot. Health. That went okay. I just got in the way. The problem is when you're at full health, it's very hard to... Well, not very hard, but it takes a long time to die. Do not save. So now I'm not at full health. So I'm going to try to do the first phase without getting hit, then drink a potion. If there was just a way to fully heal myself consistently before this fight, Actually, like, if I were to go in here, okay, it's maybe not that room, but maybe there's a room up ahead where I can, like, uh, make a fairy. That could have been at full health. Thank you. 
I didn't use the potion because he was already at the lower part of the map where it's easier to hit his head. I was doing pretty good. I was doing pretty good there. Again, maybe there's a way I can get back to full health. And start the fight. Although, like, there's no good way to get magic. Not in this dungeon. Alright, try again. Is the idea to just use the potion and then we're going to try to rely on long range attacks. If only we can just get a fairy to pop Because I could probably get to full health. Honestly, it makes me think that having less hearts for this attempt might be better. That way it's easier to get back to full health. Unless the reset just adjusts depending on how many hearts you have. corners is not going to do anything. where if we fail with blind all the way through where I need to reset to get everything back, we'll try again and see That was a good run, honestly. There were many opportunities for me to potentially hit him with the beam, but either I'm, I missed or something. Honestly. And I lasted a long time. So that was probably like a best case scenario in terms of like the amount of time it took. I dodged a lot. Red potion. Mm -hmm. 
Since he's on the lower part, let's not use him. Really, I just want to use the potion when he's still in the upper part. That way I try to get a few shots in before he moves down. That wasn't that good of an attempt. Get some rupees back to try to get money. Alright. I got close. I got really close. I lasted long enough. I just didn't aim right with my uh, long ranged attack. So I think this is the plan. Laser. Okay. Time to die. Eh, going for that no hit run again? Yeah. But this time, I have bottles. And honestly, the strategy of relying on my long range laser is actually going a little bit better than I would have thought. So. I used up all my bottles. So right now the strategy is get past the first, uh, defeat the first uh, body part, the head, and then once he's about to pop up, if I have not gotten hit yet, uh, go ahead and get uh, use a potion to get the full health. And then once I do that, uh, I have long range and I still haven't gotten hit, so I could try to do a good chunk of the fight. Uh, with my long range. How many of these can I get? Okay, I can only get three. Sadly. Alright, well. Only a few more shots of this. How's it going, Tyler? I made a backup save on a different file. So if we want to, we could just do the Ganon's Tower stuff. And try to go for that if I, if uh, these fights are not going well. well. Luckily, this first attempt at blind will start with the long range. But yeah, uh, we got five achievements to go for. And this is the last day before I go on my break, so let's see if we can do it. Ooh, that's still there. All right. I got three bottles of red potion. Let's try to do this when I'm at full health. Oh well, you ended up beating Metal Gear. It was pretty short. Yeah, uh, those old games uh, aren't that long. How long did it take you? Just a couple hours? All right. Phase one. Okay. Uh, uh, 
Huh? Huh? Yes! Yes, we did it! <laughs> Long range for the win! Oh, that needs to proc. Oh, that was clutch. Thank you, potions. Actually, I didn't need potion potions for that one. And it procced. Oh, four achievements to go. Who needs potions? You just need long range. And a lot of dodging. Well, I'm keeping this. So, for the other no-hit run, we got to do... We still got to defeat Mothra. Do I understand? Yes, I do. Oh, I'm keeping this. Okay. So, with Mothra, honestly, my problem is more that I need magic for Fire Rod instead of potions for long range. Uh, I mean, the long range can help, but I think we're going to be relying on the Fire Rod for this. So let's go ahead and use up my potions. I know it feels like a waste, kinda is, but I need to use this up. Luckily, I don't need to just constantly not save, you know? All right. Let's work on Mothla. Mothla. Yeah, about two hours for Metal Gear. Yeah, I know it's not that long a game. Are you gonna try the NES version as well, just to kind of see the differences? Or are you moving on to Metal Gear 2? Okay, right now I'm gonna go fill up my potions for free, because I actually have no rupees. That's kind of why I wanted to take care of Blind first, because it's easy to get green potions. But then I'll save and quit. We have to see what it was like, but you're gonna focus on Metal Gear 2. Alright. Oh, what are, like, the big dif- Do you know the big differences between each version of Metal Gear 1? Oh, the only one I really know of is the final boss. But yeah, I hear Metal Gear 2 is actually a fun- uh, Solid Snake, anyway, is a fun game. Let's get my free green potions. Once I fill up these potions, I'm gonna save and quit. There we go. When you can tell the map is very different, you start off in a completely different place from the MXX version. Interesting. But, so, so the entire map might be just completely different. That might be fun to like do a comparison stream one day, play both versions of Metal Gear 1 and just see the differences. Kind of play them back to pack. Like, I could play Metal Gear 1 through Metal Gear Solid 3, and then just play an NES version, like, on the emulator. Yeah, like, I, I kind of want to see the direct comparisons. And you said the new collection on Switch has the NES games? Does it have both NES games or just the first NES one? Okay, we're good there. Save and quit. Maybe it's an idea one of these days. At the moment, if I were to try to do that, I would have to get a ROM of NES version. Luckily, I actually own an NES copy, so that's fine. Uh, we want here. But we would have to use Metal Gear Solid 3 to play uh, MSX. It does have both. They're both considered bonus content, but they're both there. Hmm, maybe I should just pick that up, just for convenience. 
The trade-off is, like, if I play either MSX or NES versions through emulators, I could probably play them with retro achievements. I know. My, uh... My completionist is just calling me, basically. Uh, it's something to think about. So something to think about. Uh... I took a glance through, like, Metal Gear, and there's a lot there. Or, I should say Metal Gear Solid. There's a lot of achievements for that thing. And there's some good ones where it's like, or a good chunk of them are like, hey, do uh, get the big boss run, or like, oh no. I'm not that good at Metal Gear. going after Mothla. What I kind of was reading was the Fire Rod was the best. Like, it did the most damage. And the fact that you get to stay from range kind of helps. Uh, last time I actually... On my own time when I was making up the backup save, I almost managed to get the no-hit run for Mothla. <laughs> I almost did it. You're like, oh my. Of course it almost happened when I'm not streaming. I enjoy Metal Gear for what it was, but so far Metal Gear 2 is more in line with the later games. Be like, uh, yes, that's, that is something I'm aware of, but when you're playing through Metal Gear, uh, Metal Gear 2, I should say, you're going to see some, uh, some concepts that Metal Gear Solid basically ripped straight from Metal Gear 2. Like a copy and paste job, more or less. Maybe Kojima was okay with the idea because he knew Solid was going to the States and the States didn't have Metal Gear 2. So maybe he thought it was okay. I don't know. I don't know the mindset. But you're going to see some uh, copy and paste concepts, kind of. Okay, I got hit, but honestly, I don't care. It's mostly relying on the fire rod. Alright. Let's try this. I have potions. I knew it. I knew that was going to do it. I hate the movie floor so much. I'm just trying to end it. There we go. save and continue. I didn't use a potion. And it's not gonna be that much of a hassle to go refill my green potions. To leave and go fill them up instead of resetting the save. Although resetting the save would save me time. Oh. You know what? I may just not save. At that point, it would just save time. Yeah, you know what? I'm just not gonna save. I'll just hit continue and not save. Come on, magic. There we go. Fill that up. There we go. magic meter. Made it. Okay. Let's try it. I 
knew it. I knew that was gonna happen. I don't know, but again, like, pick one or the other. Don't have both. I know I... Or maybe it is the right amount of challenge for a normal person playing this game, but when you're doing a no-hit run, that's when it becomes extremely more annoying. Jeez, game designers, you did not think about this for no-hit runs. What were they thinking? That's kind of what I said right now. <laughs> Should be able to make it. There we go. Again, I could possibly upgrade my sword if if I need to. Okay, third attempt. Oh, I got hit by the spike. It didn't help that Mothra was just going to the lower part of the map. That was just not helping me. Oh yeah, uh... We'll see if we can get this done today. I'm hoping so. Because the next game I have in mind, I really want to play. But it would be really annoying to have to go back to this game for, like, a stream. To get, like, what? A achievement? That'd be annoying. magic. It's easy for me to refill magic right now, but the potions are here just in case I, I get a good run and use up way too much magic. Yeah, I don't care about the hit. Alright. That was quick. I swear, I got close on my own time. <laughs> like, I got very far. I was like two or three hits away from actually getting it on my own time. But that was off stream, so Pixar didn't happen, basically. I wasn't recording it. And you know what? Even if I did get it, I have the ability. You have the ability to like delete the progress if you uh, got an achievement for whatever reason, and you decide, no, I want to get it again, or something went wrong. I don't know why. Most of the time, you would do that, but uh, you can. I would have probably just delete the fact that I got it and did it again in the stream. Because my mindset is, hey, if I got it once, I could do it again. Alright, not a full magic meter, that's fine. Give Mothra... Uh, so far, like, I could get plenty of attempts on Mothra. 
I'm thinking we'll give Mothra about another half an hour-ish. And if I don't get it, we'll try again in Sour. Just for a change of pace. Alright, oh, I keep forgetting that one has a potion. I need to, like, make sure to grab that one. Starting to run low on magic. Drop potion. I need that. I need to get every potion that I can get. You know what? I'm gonna check this one. That one also has a potion. Okay. You know what? In this case, I kinda need it. Good to know I can rely on that corner as well. It takes a little bit more time. Come on, come on. Yes! Go again. I did it! I did it! <laughs> I was just on a roll! Oh my god. There we go. out. Got it. Two down, three to go. And honestly, I think these two were the more stressful ones. So, since this one's done, my backup save is already to go with the potions and everything that I wanted. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just going to reset, since there's nothing different with this one that I need. I got the achievement. Yeah, three more to go. We'll use this save. We'll start... I already have every potion. So, uh, 
No, we, we want to start here. Because I have to get my sword tempered. That way I don't have it. I'm going to take this opportunity to get a full hero. Yeah, I don't have the final heart. I didn't go and bother to get it again. Let's be honest. Uh, I mean, maybe one heart would make a difference. But... Let's hope it doesn't come to that. For this run, I have one blue potion, which is both health and magic, two green potions, and a fairy. And I believe that the fairy can actually... Uh, it doesn't... It, 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 if you die but still have a fairy, it does not count as a death. So I can still get through Ganon's tower. And there's a few spots to re-get fairies. So I think we'll be okay. But yeah, uh, we have to redo that Gan's Tower with the treasure chest and map because I think there was one room where uh, it had the map, but I couldn't get in there because I needed a key. And uh, I used up all my keys, and there must be a key in that room. That's like the only explanation I have. There was a key in the room that I haven't been, that I wasn't able to go to. <laughs> While we're gonna try to get every achievement in this run, all three of them, if I happen to die and lose out on uh, this one, we're still gonna get all the treasure chests. Just get that done. Because I would have to explore way more rooms to uh, get every treasure chest. So if I manage to get every treasure chest, I can reset and start this up again. And when we go through Ganon's Tower for the final time, we can kind of just go for the necessary spots and just kind of make it quick. Guys, I can't I can't do anything now. Get out of my way. My dark world. <laughs> what even are these guys? Because I don't think they've ever come back. tower, that's all that matters. There's a few fairies in here. to find all the treasures. First key. All right, I'm gonna be relying on hook shots and bows. Here. 
because there was treasure. So much treasure. So there's 26 treasures. Arrows. Bombs. And more rupees. Of course. Here. Here. through this door. This had the treasure I was missing. Oh, I know how I could get there. There's the map. Let's see. Heart. that do? There was the map, but there wasn't a key. Huh. That's weird. Um. There doesn't seem to be a hidden spot or anything. We have the map. Yeah, I don't know. There wasn't a key in there. There was nothing else to look. So I must have just missed a key somewhere, maybe. That's entirely possible. But I, like, double-checked Ganon's tower. I could not find it. Like, I don't know where else I could have checked. I don't see anything vulnerable here. Secret room. And then we step on this switch to find bombs. More bombs. Arrows. And arrows. Nothing else here. I already know there isn't anything to the right. But, just to kind of look around, where am I anyway? Right, okay. Nothing over here. Okay. I gotta be thorough. Down here. Oh, 
time. Get sent up here. There was nothing for killing every enemy, but at the same time, uh, I might not be able to grab it. We'll check this room again, but when we go over there, in that direction. All right. This room for. We'll be checking in this room later. When we go to the right. Although, wait, we can go to the right right now and get the big key. Yeah, we can get that done. Spots are bombable. Why did they keep giving me arrows? Well, head down here. Just a room full of fairies. Yeah, I wanted to just double check. figured we'd go in there now, that way we could get my extra defense. Alright. Okay, those aren't pushable. Just double checking. Back at the start. Alright. So... Wait a minute. What if using the key on that door is bait? What if it's just bait? To make you waste a key? Because we don't need to. It just makes things easier. This doesn't do anything except drop bombs. Yeah, it does, nothing happened. Well, it's now I can push something after flipping that switch. Okay, not right now. I'm just kind of trying to check everything just in case. Yeah, maybe if we don't use the key on that door. I already know there's nothing here. I already know that. So I could just keep going. Alright. Uh, I'm 
gonna head into this room. Back here. Wait, can I use boomerang? Yeah. Can I use boomerang for that? No. way out. There is nothing else here. It's just a trap. Need this. Let's take the left path first. In here. doesn't lead anywhere else. Luckily, we didn't have to use a key for it. Okay. I want to make sure this way is open. There's no hidden pathway. Magic and bomb. Here. That is pu pushable, but honestly, I don't know what it's for. Rupees, arrows. This is not pushable. Again, I don't know what it's for. We, found we got the achievement for all compasses and maps. This room, I was better off using the key. That's not going to do anything. Did I? Yeah, just rupees. Okay. I don't think there's anything here. It doesn't look like there is. Okay. Get rid of you. Again, this block doesn't do anything. It's just kind of in the way. 
nothing can be bombed. And now we should be in the bottom right corner. Yes. So now we need to... Well, we don't need to do this. I probably checked this, but let me check and see if lighting both of them does something. No. Okay. Just wanna double check. And we're back here. <laughs> because we already already went to the top right. I think we're done in this lower section. I have zero keys, but we got the big key. That should be enough. Using the key there was bait. There wouldn't have been enough keys to make it. At least that's what it feels like. Right. This is a good setup right now, because last time I was only missing one. I was only missing one achievement, and that was the map one. Actually, do anything. If I remember correctly, none of these drop keys? using the key on that one door in the middle was just kind of bait. It's kind of what I feel like is happening. Just in case I mess up and like fall off the edge. This way, this is my reset point. Fairies. I don't think any of these 
to a key because I checked in here. There's a way to refill magic. check these blocks. I know we're going to be getting some keys, but I think they're along the way. Double checking. Right. This section. I don't know what it was. It's fine. These rooms. I already know there wasn't really anything from these skulls. Just health and potions. Hold on. Stun him. I keep getting sniped. I just want to double check. Wasting a lot of health, but I have a potion. Alright, nothing in here. Even waste this. Alright. And I have potions. long run like this. I'm willing to use it. This is a long trek. Keep getting sniped. It's okay. I don't need that potion. Yeah, that made me wish I bought two of them instead of the two greens. Oh well. Because I have n I now have no way to heal against Agano. I'm already at full health. Better to 
It's not better, but... We just slowly ride this. Off the edge. And I can kill the other one. So that works. This room. Okay. Yeah, if I were to have to do this again, two blue potions, one green. one had a potion? Yeah. No, I still need the fire rod. Back. That's a full potion. Carefully. Here. All right. Yeah, you dropped a key. Bombs? Bombs? Bombs. This room, I think, is kind of okay. Oh, you could turn those things that transform you into a bunny into a fairy. I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know that was possible. chess. There's nothing for falling down. There is nothing for falling down. Right, I need the hammer. This might be tough for Molder Armor, actually. Let me check the edges. Yeah. Nothing bombable. The enemies just kind of keep respawning. And I could just turn that one guy into a fairy. So honestly, this is not bad. sword. So this is going to be a little bit tougher. I think I have to use the hammer. I think that's the only way I can hit him. Okay, three hits. It's not bad. in there.
we're at Agano. We're still missing a chest. And we got the map one, so there's just a chest. Did I miss a different chest? Great. Fantastic. Let's be Agno. We recommend just using the bug net against Agony. You know, versus the normal sword. Oh, you can hit him while he's teleporting. I didn't know that. Got the one for getting through Ganon's Tower without the sword. We're still missing every treasure chest in Ganon's Tower. However, um, <laughs> we maybe we're missing one chest, but I got the map one, so there's just another chest that I just missed. I was. Because before, I had every other chest except for the map. Well, um... I could save. I could probably safely make a save. I'm not going to. My reasoning is just in case I need to go through Dan's Tower again. Just start over, basically. However... The fact that I have, uh, I can now use my sword, if we have to go through Ganon's Tower again, it won't be that bad. One more achievement. There is one treasure somewhere. I don't know where it is. But it is a different spot. Okay, well, we're gonna... We're gonna power up my sword. We're gonna do this first. Let's respond. Let's throw in my sword. person. Give me my golden sword. Alright. Back to Ganon's Tower, I guess. I'm gonna refill my blue potion. And then we're going back. Again, I could probably save. But I'm going to play it safe and not save. Not save. Just in case we need to start over Ganon's Tower for whatever reason. I don't know why. Are you winning? Yes! We got one more achievement to go, Hot Corn Dog. Just one. And get every treasure in Ganon's Tower. For some reason, I'm missing one. And I don't know which one it is, because I got the map. Like, <laughs> I don't know which one. <coughs> so, I think maybe... Uh, 
it should be up there. Maybe I need to leave a comment on those achievements, because I think some of them are missable. If you mess up the amount of keys. The Lost Treasure. Yeah, we got uh, The Legend of Zelda, The Lost Treasure. We got one more. But it's not the map this time. So, I don't know which one it is. I checked every room, at least I thought I did. So, I, I don't know which one I'm missing. I did not uh, save after beating Ganon's Tower as a just in case, but we got the one where we get through Ganon's Tower without a sword. We got that done. It's a good thing I bought the blue potion. But because we took it taking care of that, if I have to start over and try Ganon's Tower again, it will be a normal run through Ganon's Tower. Play Persona 3? That is like the only one I haven't played. Uh, other, okay, there's Persona 2 Eternal Punishment. I have not played that one because PS1 copy is super expensive and PSP version never made it over here. So, honestly, I'll probably just play the PSP version because I think there's a fan translation. I still need to finish Persona 2 Innocent Sin. Uh, playing with retro achievements was... Uh, honestly, that was just... Even without retro achievements, just how I play it was just kind of dragging. Uh, but yeah, I played all the other ones. Why? I'm hoping to play Persona 3 Reload. Reload. Uh, I'm thinking it'll probably get a sale like for Black Friday. So I'll probably be picking it. I'll probably end up getting it. So, I decided not to use my key on this door. I figured using the key on this door is bait. And I think I'm right on that. I was about to ask if it sucked. I saw a meme in Instagram saying it sucked playing in 2004 and still sucks in 2024. I... I hear only good things about Persona 4. So, I don't know. That just sounds like someone that just doesn't like Persona 3. Or Persona in general. I don't know which. Could be both. But I've only heard good things about Persona 3. We gotta, we gotta check everything again. But as you can see, like, all the rooms, I have visited all the rooms. I have visited all of them. And last time, I was only missing one treasure. And that was where the map is. And I was wrong on the fact that there doesn't seem to be a key in that room. So, yeah, I think you just can't use a key on that front door. So you don't have to go up the stairs. I think that is just supposed to be bait. Yeah, see, here, here's where the map was. 2001? Was Persona 3 in 2001? I feel like it would have been around 2004. Okay. Now here's where I'm confused. What does that do? Oh! Oh, I think I see the problem. I guess it just makes it easier to get back. There's nothing else in this room. Nine, you're a big Persona hater because you are. Just because, like, what, people hype it up too much? So yeah, this is the room I wasn't able to go in. Because I used up one too many keys. Apparently, there's one extra locked door. 
versus the amount of keys that you have. There's nothing else in here. The account clearly likes the series, so it might be rich bait. Yeah, it probably. It could be. Is this Twitter? Oh, Instagram? Yeah, it's probably just as... Instagram is probably just as toxic as Twitter. So... Again, I gotta figure out where this one treasure is. And again, last time I only... There was only one I was missing, and it was in that map room. So, now I don't know where. I thought I was being thorough, but... Hmm. not like an extra treasure here, is there? No, there wasn't. Again, I was only missing one last time. So let's see. In this room, there doesn't seem to be anything. You take the left, left path. Nothing up here. <coughs> so you could go here and bomb this wall. Flip the switch. This up and get these four treasures. Just do nothing. Okay. It was also. It was also led up to a 9-11 joke. Yeah, it, it could have... It sounds like rage bait. That's just kind of what it sounds like to me. Because how do you get rage bait? Say a popular thing is crap. And that's how you get rage bait. It's that simple. You know what's funny? I could probably look at my phone and uh, figure out which treasure I might be missing. Again, I've visited every room. So, hit them with the random 9-11 jokes. I don't know how to feel. Yeah, that sounds about right. Nothing in this room. This was just kind of a dead end. Okay. This room. There's nothing there. That block is just there for whatever reason. This block is just kind of here. I don't understand why. We're going to double check every room. Sunrise, Alex. How's it going? Uh, we got one achievement to go before I'm done with this game. And to get every chest in Ganon's tower, and for some reason I'm missing one. And I don't know where it's at. <laughs> the funny thing is, uh, I it's a different chest that I happened to got last time. I played Castlevania? Yes, I played a few Castlevania games. Last Halloween, 
I played basically all of the ones starting from NES onto uh, Symphony of the Night. Although I, I, so I played one, two, and three on NES. I played uh, Bloodlines on Genesis. Dracula X and Rondo of Blood played both of them, and then ended it with Symphony of the Night. Played Portrait of Room. That's what I did on stream, was those games. And I have personally played the GBA games. The the three Metroidvanias on GBA. I have not played the DS ones. Uh, part of it was they were just too spendy. But now there's a collection, so I can pick it up at some point. Uh, I think those are the only Castlevania games I've played. I can't think of another one I have played. Yeah, why you ask? Eventually, yeah. Eventually I want to play the DS ones. Stream-wise, though, I wouldn't want to get through the GBA ones first. Portrait of Ruins just that good of a game? Well, give it a try at some point. Again, this door, I think it's fate. Don't use your key on that one. Yeah, right now we're just trying to find the one treasure chest I'm missing. This one achievement. Again, like, there doesn't seem to be anything in here. Oh yeah, uh well, look handsome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh right now, uh I don't think there was treasure in this room. But we might as well just play this out. And double check. Uh, yeah, there, I, I'm willing to go back to Castlevania here and there. I don't know if I will go back to it this October. I feel like the other games I have planned are kind of <clears throat> distracting me with trying to make another themed Halloween one again. Unless I want to go with, like, Metroid or something. I don't know. Because some of the games I have planned might take too long, so... But yeah, eventually, I'll play those DS ones. Thanks, Konami, for the collection. I don't know what other Castlevania games I'm missing. I have, I guess there's the N64 ones. There was a treasure here. Oh, and there was a key for this one. You know what? I probably just didn't wait long enough. That's probably what happened. Because I remember waiting for all those tiles, and then when I saw that nothing seemed to happen. Okay. Yeah, nothing's missable in here. I was just dumb. But with that, we can see that I have all the achievements for Link to the Past SNES. See, it's mastered. That's done. Well, um, we got a little bit of time before I could end stream. Uh, maybe we could do some sort of one-off to kill time. Uh, chat, okay, I'm gonna name off a few games. Uh, name off what we should kill time with. Uh, Samurai Warriors, Katamari Damacy, Mario Baseball, uh, I can play some Pokey Rogue. There's one more. Or, uh, Dissidia Final Fantasy on the PSP. What do we kill time with for another hour, hour and a half? Yeah, this is done. See, it's master. I got it. Kit track. I don't have my Switch set up. <laughs> I don't have the Switch set up in here. Sorry. That's why I didn't name it off. <sighs> Kid Dracula. Uh, if you guys want Kid Dracula, we could do that. You gotta give me time to let uh, set it up, though. If that's what you want. All right, give me a few. Give me a little bit. 
Be right back. Okay, so I am back. Let me go ahead and 
I don't need this anymore. I can close that. Turn that on. Still gonna have to adjust, get everything going. I need... that. Give me a sec. I have the switch set up. I also refill my water and let Molly outside. Astrobot. Why? <laughs> Just don't want to? Or do you not like Astrobot? So first let me go ahead and get uh Castlevania collection. There we go. Let me just start down here about down a little Alright. So I could probably close that down. I need that. And now I need to move this. And maybe shrink. There we go. That's a, that works. All right. Well, here's uh, Castlevania. Play some Kid Dracula. Yeah, Concourse shutting down. That's, uh, again, that was a whole shit show, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, okay. We'll play some Kid Dracula. Let me go ahead and, uh, change the title. That way people just don't get confused. Be like, I thought this was a Zelda stream. I was stuck on a spot. Yeah, it was like the final level. I'll go ahead and swap it over. Oh, oops. I didn't turn down the volume. There we go. All right, we should be good. Do we just want to play the game from the start? We're just killing time anyway. I like that, uh, oh yeah, I, I, part of it is I just don't remember the code. <laughs> we'll just start over, because why not? I, I do like how they just brought back a game that never made it over into America. Oh, uh, I just saw a trailer for something Nintendo related. I guess there's, like, a collection of, like, three, like, Famicom games. Uh, they're, like, Sunsoft games, I believe? And apparently these three games never made it to America. And this collection is, one, bringing them over, but actually translating them. So that's cool. Yeah, that's right, I can aim up, I forgot. Been a little bit, been a... Not a full year, but close enough. But yeah, this game is actually rather... It's actually kind of fun. But yeah, uh... Sunrise, have you played Kid Dracula before? Because this is actually kind of fun. Can I charge up? Yeah, I can. I forgot. way. There we go. Just killing time right now, that's all. I know this game has like a Game Boy version, but I don't know if that made it over to America. I remember I went to uh, Portland Retro Gaming Expo and there was like a little panel there, and someone was doing a like a speed run uh, showcase, and he was uh, the guy was playing Kid Dracula on Game Boy, so that was kind of cool to watch. Basically a live speed run, uh, but, but you have 
but you have the collection that includes it. Okay, so you have a chance to play it. Oh. Again, I got pretty far. I made it to, like, the final level, but, like, man, that final boss... I don't remember, but, like, I know I had a lot of trouble. But do you have a particular favorite... 2D Castlevania game. Like, or, okay, not 2, 2D's not the right word. Uh, classic Castlevania, the 2D platformer stuff. Not the Metroidvanias. So, like, the NES trilogy, Rondo of Blood. Rondo of Blood, Dracula X. Portrait of Ruin, that's, that's not what I'm referring to. That's a Metroidvania. Wait. Am I, or am I getting that confused with... What's the PS3, like, download game where you and, like, four people can, like, explore one giant castle and try to beat the boss? It's like a team-up sort of thing. Cheap viewers! Oh my god. No thanks, I'm good. Boss time. Gee, I wonder why this game didn't make it to America. <laughs> oh no, now I really wonder why it didn't make it to America. Because <laughs> I think this is still slightly censored. Guess what, uh, guess what was on the top of the, the guy's hood? I think it was just a normal cross, but either way, it's not a good sign. <laughs> we got the homing spell. It's probably like the best one right here. All right. What will it be? What do we want? Roulette, Kang Kang, uh, Garapon, Davenport, Savannah Knight. Again, that's still a, uh, it's still a Metroidvania, but I mean, those are still good games. Uh, let's. Can we get to Roulette? How do we get to Roulette? Wait, is it even possible to get to Roulette? With this setup? I actually think it might be impossible to get to Roulette. Oh well, let's just go down one more. Oh, more lines get added in, I see. I forgot about that detail. So, there's like two types of Castlevania games. You got like the... Just the pure 2D platformers. And then you got the exploration type of Castlevanias. Those, the exploration ones are the Metroidvanias. So, Symphony of the Night, Portrait of Ruin. Stuff like those. The classic Castlevanias... It's basically the NES Trilogy, Rondo of Blood, Dracul X. Yeah. I think I'm confessed about it. <laughs> I think the uh, Game Boy stuff, too. Well, we got Roulette. Eh, it's fine. Just trying to keep conversation going. Try my luck! Two coins for one medal. Alright, well... Let's try... Which one do we want it? Sure. And... Rigged. Because those two type of genres for Castlevania are kind of different enough. Simon's Quest was like, I was trying to give Simon's Quest an actual shot, and like, I feel like there's a good game in Simon's Quest, but 
no, like, it has, it's, it's, it has problems. Alright, I can't jump from below for that. But yeah, this is one of those games where you are definitely punished for dying, because you don't get to keep all your power-ups, if I remember correctly. And it's not easy to get all of it back. Trying to get that health upgrade. Kind of lucked out there. We don't get to turn into a bat, not yet. By the way, I think we looked this up last time I played this. We are not Alucard, nor we are we Dracula. This is like Dracula's like redheaded stepchild. <laughs> that he doesn't, you know, talk about. He, he never refers to this, uh, he never talks about this kid, that's for sure. But this is not Alucard, nor is this, this is also not Dracula as a kid. So, yeah. We're platforming with this one year. Ah! I will get there eventually. Squat dance. Kinda look like you're taking a poop. There we go, made it. Okay, now I made it. Is this the roller coaster? This is the roller coaster. And what is this personal question? I'll try to answer. Turtles, man! Freaking Fujin and Raijin are after me! Where's that Tengu? That's a Tengu. Oh, I can't kill them? They're just here? Oh, wait, no, I got rid of the Tengu. that roller coaster. I think that gave me a lot more trouble the first time I played. Alright, you gotta pay attention to the direction their eyes are looking. Crazy gameplay for a do I have a partner I play video games with? Uh, no, I don't. Right now, just by myself. If you're just talking about, like, a streaming, like, co-commentator sort of thing, no, I don't. Just kind of by myself. Freaking giant chickens. Dead. Who wants dinner? And like a. Uh, I'm assuming you mean best friends. I have friends that I play games with. And you mean other places? No. Oh, it's this thing, yeah. Okay. Three coins to spin the wheel once. Fingers crossed. I have three tries? Okay. You got a single life. Another single life. And we got zero. Oh, what a ripoff. Oh well, we got two lives out of it. Let's see. Oh, right, we got bomb. Time for the water level! Oh, why did this give me trouble? I'm pretty sure this level gave me trouble, but I forgot why. My 
god. The jump height is insane, I forgot. There okay, he does have a short hop. And there it is. Oh! We caught my I caught myself. This room, the anti-gravity thing. Wait, what? Is there a spike up there? Oh, there it is. Okay. How are you supposed to know about that? Again, that's kind of cheap. That one's cheap. Jump. Now there. Right, this stage just had a lot of... A lot of cheap, like, placements for spikes. At least this isn't Mega Man. Those spikes would have instantly killed me. Thank God for checkpoint. I still think the homing one is still probably the best thing to use right now. At least most of the time. Eh, no, no, no. Oh, okay. I guess. Life happens, I guess. I forgot those hearts are full heals. Again, like, these guys are just swimming, minding their own business. See? Like, they're just swimming, and yet I'm here just shooting projectiles at them. I guess if you want coins, you can just stay there. There's no time limit. I guess if you really want coins for, like, the raffle and stuff, you can easily just shoot those down. Oh, right, boss fight. Giant octopus! Hey, look, more dinner. You can get some takoyaki. think about it, I think the homing missile's power is very low, so that's why you probably want to go with the base one, but this one kind of moves around a little too much. There we go. Got ya. Made it. Simple. I'm a... I'm so batty now. Now I can turn into a bat. Let's see. Let's go down this path. Where do we end up? Garapon again? Alright. That's not bad. Oh, wait, no. Jab and plop. Okay. Oh, this one. Okay. Stab the skeleton. Alright. Take a guess. Nope. Nothing. Mm. No, I think that counted, so we got extra life. 
Did I crash? Or is it just my laptop? No, uh, it looks like it might just be my laptop. No, I think we're fine. Okay, just double checking. Hey, we got him! See you again! Good luck! Did you crash? No, it, it, I think we're fine. I think we are fine. Uh, it was just on my laptop's end. This stage. I remember this is the one that gave me a lot of trouble. Ice physics, and you know? Also, that. Yeah, I really... That platform really likes to mess you up. Oh. Gotta wait up. Make sure to jump so that way you don't keep the momentum. That was my problem right there. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. Okay. If I remember correctly, I really want to get to the next level because that's where we're at in New York. <laughs> we just I, I don't understand where we're actually going. We're just kinda we just kinda seem like we're going all over the place. No, that wasn't a checkpoint. Alright. Granted, you can not just get over this with just turning to a bat. So that's not that bad, now that I think about it. You just can't attack while you're a bat. The only reason the other uh, snowman popped up was because he went too far to the left or something. You just respond. Again, this is a weird game. <laughs> but I'm all for it. Short hop. That guy's deal is. Perfect. Wait, I, if I remember, don't those spikes instantly kill you? Weren't there some spikes that do that? Or do you just get hurt? I don't. Oh, okay. Turn to the bat. You have to be a little bit careful because you do just move up naturally. Okay, it was right here where it could be some trouble. Okay. You. You. Perfect. Get rid of more seals. Who needs them anyway? Uh, yeah, I need that help. So far, we're doing pretty good. And look, there's just some ice skaters here. Like, why are why are they attacking me? Or are they? No, you know what? They're not attacking me. They're just minding their own business. I'm the asshole here. Oh, this is right. The screen flicker. It cannot handle the Durgan. I forget. Are you able to stand on him? Or do you get hurt? I, I'm probably getting confused with like Mega Man X. Uh, 
All right. Ah! How are you supposed to know? Just get cheap shot. That's fair. idea to turn into a bat so I don't freaking fall into the pit. Let's go. Perfect. I'm on my last life. Get rid of you. Ah! No! Don't throw bombs at me. That's very rude. I don't need that health. We're good there. Oh no, that's a wall. Figure skaters did nothing wrong. They've done nothing wrong. Alright. Let's try it. Try it again. Maybe I can... Maybe I can kill him before he breaks some tiles. See? Oh, wait. <laughs> Wait, I killed him, didn't I? It looked like I killed him. Oh, that sucks. Ah, uh, and as you can see, I lost all my extra health. I kind of see why I say this game kind of punishes you for losing all your lives just because of that. But that's like the only punishment that the game gives you. You just lose your extra health, but sometimes that extra health is really needed. It's either a punishment for, you know, losing or it's a reward for being good. I don't know how you want to view it. Like, this was giving me a lot more trouble last time. I think this is one of those cases where it's like, because I uh, played a bit of this before, you know, last year, I kind of had the mindset of like, oh, I got through here before, I could do it again. That might also be part of the reason why I never made it over here. It's like a Kirby situation. Although we got Kirby. Where it was just super late. That it wasn't worth bringing it over because the Super Nintendo was out. Into a bat. Perfect. 
we're at the boss again. It didn't take that long to get back here. But I think it just breaks my tiles once. Well, only one cycle of breaking my tiles anyway. Okay, it is random. Yeah, I just beat it. <laughs> I just beat it, and then, like, I just died. Oh, well. And now we can use ice. Kind of wish there was a better indicator that you froze them, but whatever. Let's go down here. Where shall we end up? Roulette. Okay. Fun. Hmm. I guess we'll try this again. Sure. Rigged. That was rigged. Oh well. Now we're in New York. Don't ask me how we got here. See, there's UFOs and aliens. At least I'm pretty sure we're in New York because... Let's see. While we're dealing with aliens... Where is he? He's gonna show up. He's right in the path. See, look, it's, it's Spider-Man. Climbing up the side of the building. <laughs> this is totally New York. <laughs> this must be this must be Venom Suit Spider-Man. <laughs> and there's 50 of them. That, is that supposed to be King Kong? This is kind of a weird stage. Oops. the game got really weird for me because <laughs> like the first few stages were like okay this is like nothing that crazy i mean it's weird but it's you know it's not that bad it's just like a little kid's game and then all of a sudden we're just new we're in new york i don't know how we got here i don't know why we're here but we're here now new hero in town, or, or am I a hero? Actually, no. I don't think I'm really here. What was that? Was I, like, on, like, the top of the screen or something? What happened there? Yeah, King Kong just throwing the airplanes at me. That's not a... Oh, is this one of those cases where I needed to fall down? Yeah, okay. Now to go into the sewers. Or, not the sewers, the subway. I forget, who do we fight here? It's like a new enemy type. It's not the turtles. Wasn't it like Jason Voorhees? <laughs> Can't remember. Alright, we got guys with mohawks. 
that throw their mohawks. Yeah, there he is. It's Jason Voorhees. He's here. I don't know why he's in New York, but he's here. Again, this game gets weird. by the auto-scroller. And that's the end of that. Time to reset that. If I'm correct, the next stage is the desert level. like the final few sections? I don't remember. Oh yeah, then I think it's space. I can't wait for the next Castlevania game to just randomly bring in Kid Dracula as like a super boss. That'll be fun. Just randomly Kid Dracula's there. He's like, I'm the toughest guy here. You can't deal with me. Right next to him doesn't work. Missile. Yeah, I need the help. Perfect. To the subway. This section actually takes a while. to worry about like ducking now it's just enemies because we didn't really have to duck Spawning. I mean, let's be fair here. I'm pretty sure that's just Jason and Nuts' shell. Every time you kill him, he comes back. Back up the back. Now we need to duck. That's how you know we must be close to the end. Ladder we go. Come on, up the ladder. Okay, who am I fighting? Oh yeah, the Statue of Liberty. That's right. Welcome, kid. I'm the boss of this city, Lady Liberty. I abhor violence, so let's fight on my quiz show. Right, I forgot. <laughs> First one with three correct uh, answers wins. 
You lose a heart if you fail. Hit the buzzer. And you know the answer. Okay, ready? Here comes the questions. Or question, whatever. Which country am I living in? Brazil, USA. Again, this is a kid's game. <laughs> In Japan, anyway. Here comes the question. Uh, where am I originally from? You gotta wait for all this. France. You gotta wait for all the text to pass through before you can actually hit the buzzer. You say thank you in Japanese. Oh, I didn't press that. No wonder. Something was wrong. Uh, which island is farthest south? Hawaii. Shadow Moses. What? There's a Shadow Moses reference here? I didn't know there was a freaking Metal Gear reference here. I'm stupid. I don't know. Up, up, down, down. Left, right, left, right. BA start. I could just be stupid. <laughs> Shadow Moses Island. Metal Gear Solid. That game wasn't even out, so yeah, maybe that is an actual place. I don't know that. Well, <sighs> Whatever. I just took it as a Metal Gear reference. All right, the can-can. Which color do we hide? If you feel lucky, pay five coins to pick a color and see by yourself if you were right. Let's have some fun. If, uh, I guess we'll try yellow? Oh, it's blue. Huh. What color panties are there? Are they wearing? <laughs> uh, let's try green. No, it's white. Let's try blue again. No, it's white. Too bad. I, <laughs> I didn't get any extra lives. All right. Desert level. This is the. Yeah, this level took me a while to do. The boss is really annoying, actually. Pyramid we go. Oh, I glance away for just a second, and I get sniped. Right. 
Alright. Oh. I was expecting like an enemy to pop up. And I know there is one that's gonna pop up. Yeah, those spikes instantly kill you, but not some of the others, because that makes sense. just a hidden platform there. I thought that was Bottomless Pit. Uh, this one... No, we don't need that. So we just head down. Uh, I can't get back up, can I? Can I get that help? Let me check. Oh, you can go back up. I thought the screen would have locked. Locked out there. Oh, right, the Indiana Jones sequence. Keep moving. Bottomless pit. I hope you don't get hit by bubbles. See? So cheap. And we're all the way back here. Yeah, that boss just sucks. See why that boss gives gives me trouble. Like a yeah, there we go. No, perfect. I want that health. Last time was also just kind of a, uh, hey, I finished this game too quickly. Let's play some Kid Dracula to kill time. I wasn't trying to beat it. Boss fight. Tip number two. Nope, nope, no. Come on. Uh, I hate that 
that one. Hate that boss so much. Hit Dracula's solos? Kind of, yeah. Honestly, who... Uh, who needs the Belmonts when you have Kid Dracula? Although we don't really know who uh, Kid Dracula's allegiance is. Does he side with Dracula? Or does he not care because he's just like the redhead stepchild of the Dracula family? Maybe there's a reason why Dracula just kind of ignores him. Maybe he's just too powerful to be like, no, we cannot awaken my other son. Well, we made it to the checkpoint. Up, down, down. Too high. Jump way too high and hit the spikes. Of course, you know, the spikes are not consistent. Sometimes they just hurt you, and then other times they instant kill you. Shot too soon. Or else they won't home in on an enemy. <laughs> the enemy needs to be on screen. Alright, boss time. Let's try this again. I don't remember if homing was that great. But, you know, it lets me potentially hit the bubbles. So, I don't know. At this point, I'm just waiting for a bubble. Oh, I lucked out there. I'm trying to pop the bubbles. Gotta get rid of some of them. Nope, 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 nope. Here. 
Come on, just die already! There we go! Made it! Holly, what are you doing? Oh, made it! Oh, hey, it's a uh, roulette. Okay, well... I still want to dump it all in there, basically. Oh well. Alright, next stage. Finally got through the desert. What was this one? Right. Time to go to space! The only place that's not corrupted by capitalism. That's a red, red alert reference. For Tim Curry. How was I supposed to know that rocket was going to show up there? That's cheap. Oh, oops. That's yeah, fine. I believe this is the final stage that uh, you can basically use your code uh, your continues at. If I remember correctly, we had to do the next stage, like, in a row. Like, there was something weird. Oh, I messed up there. Oh, Streamlabs got the win. Oh, well, better luck next time. Well, if I can get rid of it whenever I'm not using it, that would be nice. But I think I just have to wait it out. Hopefully, yeah. Well, I was going to say after two weeks, but no, I'm going to be using it again. Oh, that was cheap! Did you see that shit? We'll just lose life. The tunnel to space. I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, come on. Do I just need to rush over there? Or do I need to wait it out? Stupid robot. The hitbox like going over the edge. That was me being dumb. Okay. Life. 
Well, at least it didn't take me that long to get back to, like, this part of the game. Could have been worse. Okay, we're about to get to the, to the rocket. Oh, okay, it was just random that it just popped up right over the platform. Or no, it wasn't. Okay. Okay. Try it again. Oh, wait. Maybe there is a checkpoint for the stage after this. But I think what what happens is, uh, now that I think about it, the furthest code you could get to, like, stage select is this stage. Like, you can't use a code for a later stage. Or maybe it was more like there is one, but you want to go here so you can get the health at the start of it. I don't remember. Probably end up playing for basically another half an hour. Ah, come on. This game was probably the game of the year for its time. I don't know. Like, obviously it never came out in America, so we gotta look at the games that came out in Japan. And I don't know what games came out at this time. All I know is this was a late uh, NES game. No, can't jump too soon. I mean, it's a very polished game for an NES game. You can tell it's, like, at the end of the NES. Kind of like Kirby. When it's that late into the console, they basically know, know everything about the console. So it's pretty like, hey, let's make the, like, the best game we can make. We know everything. You know, I'm pretty sure uh, Kid Dracula never got a sequel. So it makes me wonder if this just didn't, re uh, wasn't received that well. Or maybe this is just a one and done. Okay, I should attack first. That's on me. Okay, I could have made that jump, but I was waiting for the rocket because I thought it was going to snipe me. I think with the rockets, it's just too random. So I need to treat it as if they're not going to get in my way. That's what I just have to do. Because I don't know what else to do about those rockets.
Yeah, I just gotta treat it like the rockets are not gonna get in my way. That's how I that's how I gotta treat it. Because it's just, it's just too random. And I kinda wish the platforms didn't disappear immediately at when they got off screen. That probably saved some of this headache. See, that's what happened the first time. There was nothing that could be done about that. The, the rocket's just like, no. Nah. No, nah, none of that. None of that. We're not letting you win. hit me. I mean, I could have waited a second, maybe, but I don't know. Let's just keep it going. Okay, made it. Boss fight. <laughs> I'm Garamon, ruler of this world. How did a kid like you get here? But this all ends now. Die! That's right. You have to back up a bit. He's like a, he's a mark player. He tries to hit you at the tip with the tip of his sword. Yeah, this ain't that hard. Oh, he's gonna die eventually. There he is. Good, I'll be back. Okay, see ya. Yeah. I know we I know we did that stage. But I don't know what else uh I'm not fully sure what else. Uh isn't it just like one more stage? And that's where I got stuck on. Oh no, zero one up. Rigged. 
This is why I don't gamble. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Like, what, six attempts? And I only got a single one up? What a ripoff. This is why I don't gamble. <laughs> another space level, isn't there? No, we got a little bit to go. Oh, right, we're on the airship. Sounds about right for gambling? Yeah, pretty much. Oops. Alright, on the airship. I forgot about this stage. that we're doing another sky stage. This is the second one. When all the other themes have been kind of different. Yeah, I should have saved that part. was a good use of the one extra life that I got, you know? I didn't even make it to the checkpoint. It takes like four shots just to kill this guy. Has any other kiss Has any other Castlevania Pro tag moved as much as Kid Dracula? Like, are you saying, like, traveled? No, I don't think so. I think Kid Dracula traveled the most. Most of the time, they're just in, like, Ca uh, Transylvania. Or just in the one castle that they're exploring. Which is usually in Transylvania. in the heart? There we go. That works out. But I wasted it. Over to you. Come on. Perfect. Okay, wait a second. Yeah, most of the time Castlevania games, I think, just kind of stick to their one area. Granted, I haven't... I don't know much about the 3D games, like the N64 ones, the two PS2 ones, or... What was it? The Lord, Lords of Shadows? We're going to give me a... Oh, the plus 10 Brave Alphonse. I think I remember you saying that he was tanky. Like he was the new one. Spawn again. Oh my God. 
But yeah, uh, if you're working on your plus 10 Alphonse, how far are you now? Like, the second power-up you get, or technically the first one, whatever. Like, it's so good. Like, I can't think of much reason to use, like, almost any other of the attacking power-ups. Like, Bomb, or Ice. Like, I haven't found that much of a reason. I forgot about that. I forgot that there's just a giant laser with this airship. Like, this is a Mega Man game. Look, I know Konami's trying to be Capcom right now, but you don't need to copy everything. You got a plus two right now? You got a long ways to go, huh? Oh, We're at the boss, aren't we? Alright, this robot! This is where I had to use bomb. No? I forget, how am I supposed to hit him? Oh, wait a minute. Basically, we need to use up down to be able to hit him. The homie missiles don't really hit him. Try this again. Come on, attack me, dark matter. resources do you need to max out Alphonse? Come on. Come on, attack me, Dark Matter. Do it. Laser! Right. 
Let's get up down going. I'm actually getting some of my lives back. Let's keep it going. Do I have another attempt? One more. Hey, three lives in total. There. That's not bad. Good luck. What stage am I on? This is the stage I'm thinking of. This is where I couldn't be. Because we got this fucking fire dog here. Isn't this one of those ones where we need to uh, use ice on him? Probably a reset right here. Yeah, okay, try this again. Now we need to use ice. Because we're forced to. This ice beats fire. Because this is a Mega Man game. trails behind him if can hurt you. If it does, I don't think I've gotten hit by it. Okay. Let's keep it going. Oh my god. Get rid of this. Then we need to use up, down. Get rid of you. Two. One. Made it. Okay. You just need eight more copies of Alphonse. That's right. Yeah, you just keep merging. Oh, right! This is smart! Uh, and the checkpoint's after it, isn't it? Alright. Let's go.
for that down. Taking way too many hits. Alright. This robot. Now, what was hard about... Are you supposed to hit him? It's not homing. Oh no, you just need to hit him in the right spot. I see. Okay, okay it's in that brief window. Okay, I see. Sometimes it's about the height. That's right. the stage a few attempts. I don't know how many, but we just, we basically just got here. Do I, you know what? I don't need charge shot. Wait. Maybe I do need homing. I was thinking maybe I can get through that section without homing, but no. I would have to do something like that. Okay. We can try that.
right. Okay, so I need to kind of just let him... Duck for that before. Why did it not work? down and all around. Alright. I think this strategy worked out well. again. Oh, maybe he doesn't go into the ground at the same level every time. It's a certain distance. Maybe that's why I keep getting hit sometimes. Gotta wait till he floats up. see like the little bit of the drill and I th I think he goes down a set amount of distance and that distance can change based on the elevation and that's why I think I get hit sometimes so I think we got the idea down locks on once you cross the middle Got him! I think we. I think this is the first time I made it past this fight. Oh, this ain't a good sign. There's more to it. That was just the mini boss. I, King Garamoth, shall kill whoever defies me. Die! Make it here. Okay. I forgot about this. You need to hang out in the middle. I don't know if I did damage. No, 
I did I did some damage, okay. Be in the center, or else you get hit. Too far, You're too far. You get hit by the lightning. Ah, uh, excuse me. <laughs> The game glitched. Well, ah, we'll try again. We'll try a, a few. We'll try to get there. Now that I kind of know how to get past that robot. It just sucks. Now that I think about it, that there's no heal. There really should be a heal right before Garamoth. It's like the game just suddenly decides it wants to be super difficult. I remember, I think there was a code for this section, but because there's no health pickups, you almost want to do, like, the space level, or, like, the tunnel, whatever. Just so you can get some health pickups. Just for the section. And just hope you get some extra lives. I remember. Okay. Like, it kind of seemed like I wasn't doing anything to the boss. To get him off. I mean, I could hear the sound effect, but, like, nothing was happening. Does he just have that much HP? Or do I need to use, like, bomb or something? Give me a sec. Uh, kid, Dracula... Garamoth. Final boss. Galamoth. Whatever. Oh, uh, here's someone who did no damage. What weapon did they use? Let's see. They used bomb, it looks like. Hold on. Just kind of glancing. Well, they're using bomb. So, we'll try that. And see if that does anything. The problem was, it just kind of seemed like I wasn't doing anything. Maybe bomb will work, because it's, I think it's supposed to be stronger. I think that's the idea. Alright. Remember, I gotta 
wait for his altitude. Go up. You know what? Let's try bomb. Maybe that will do more damage. Let's see. does do more damage. Alright. Hi, King Garamoth will kill you. Alright. right spot is what's I tried moving to the left, but I think that, I don't know. Not sure. Thus, he's in his own banner. He'll be placing every banner onwards as a non-focus. Right. So that means there's always a chance to get Alphonse. strategy kind of worked well. It's like Mega Man, it, it said, uh, if Mega Man had to stand still to shoot. Shoot his limits. If I already see three going in one direction, then I know I don't need to do the jump and shoot thing. Right. Not the right spot, I think.
trouble with the robot again. What did I do wrong? Nope. Oh, maybe. I was doing so well the last two times. Robot. Garamoth again. Is that help? I want some help. The game's rather mean for not giving me help. Can I beat him no damage? We shall see. No damage run, let's go. King Garamoth will destroy anyone in my way. Die. Okay. I have one more chance. Okay. One more shot. It's just such a small window, you know? There's like a very small section of that boss fight where it's like you dodge the hit or you get hit. It's a very small window. Getting that timing wrong. Hey, Monzai, how's it going? Uh, just killing time. I finished Zelda, and we were just playing Kid Dracula before I call it, but I'm almost done. How's it going, Monzai? Yeah, this is my last attempt before I call it. Oh, 
What's going on, Yuren? Are you, uh, going back to Mega Man today? Okay. Usually we'd be streaming in a few minutes, but the code assessment we had today went poorly. Uh, so, life is getting in the way, I see. It happens. Alright! Can I beat Garamoth without getting hit? This is the no-hit run for Garamoth. We shall beat it or fail. I don't know. We'll find out. And right off the gate. <laughs> and the game is glitched out. <coughs> well, we'll let it play the music here, but I gotta call it. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm, well, I would normally stream Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. There's a link in the about page. I'm going to be gone for two weeks. I should be back on the 23rd. And when we come back, we're going to be playing, I'm going to be playing, uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 Level 1 Critical Mode. They wanted to get wanted to get back to Kingdom Hearts for a little while. But yeah, get back to it. Do Kingdom Hearts 2 Level 1 Critical Mode. We are skipping Chain of Memories. Chat vote for it, and I also don't like Chain of Memories. So, hey, it works out. <laughs> but yeah, plot-wise, Chain of Memories is important. So, anyway... That'll be when I get back. Uh, anyway, have a good day. Later. See you in a couple weeks.